It became clear today O'Brien Spikes was hit with one bullet, a fatal one. The preliminary autopsy shows he died of a single gunshot wound to the chest. Nothing yet on the weapon used to shoot him or how many other guns were involved. Multiple shooters, none of whom are yet identified. Uh, a number of different casings found uh, inside the establishment, which would indicate that possibly different weapons. How many, we're not really sure. Two of the 17 people shot remained in critical condition today. Police don't know if either of them or anyone else wounded had involvement with the gunfire. He's scared right now. Mitch Morris of Cincinnati Works has invited those who were shot to tonight's vigil on site, including a young woman who took a bullet to the leg. She don't understand really what happened and how could she go out to have a good time for something like this to happen to her, you know. That's part of the current climate city leaders absorbed in the early hours after the shootings. Yeah. Councilman Charlie Winburn sensing bad vibes. And uh, Cincinnati is under attack uh, by a criminal element that seems to be uh, perpetuated all over the world. Cameo has now relinquished its liquor license and announced it's closing for good this Friday. Police say they're receiving many pieces of information, but must go through the time-consuming process of separating what's valid from what's not. With more than 200 patrons present at the time, they're appealing for cell phone video before, during, or after the gunfire. You know, folks can look at the phone and say, well, I got this, and I don't think it's important. Let us make the determination. Bring it to us, let us take a look at it. Understandably, there's considerable fear given what transpired back here overnight Sunday. One message from tonight's vigil will be that the community cannot let fear drive silence and let folks who kill indiscriminately not be held responsible. Reporting live in Linwood, John London, WWT News 5. All right.